Yes, these semi trucks are ruined by cloud big time. These semi trucks are so incredibly overpriced by hype and whatever these truckers are that it's maybe not even worth buying them. The number one overpriced semi truck on the market for sale today is anybody with a rebuilt engine. They're like, yeah, man, I got a rebuilt engine under my hood. I could sell it for a hundred thousand. No, no. Just because you rebuild an engine on your truck does not mean it's worth a hundred grand. Okay, that's the bottom line. You go buy whatever your truck is worth and sell at that point. You can replace the whole rear end, put a new transmission, put a rebuild engine in it, and do a whole bunch of other stuff. A new DPF and def system. It still ain't gonna be worth a hundred grand. Just because you put in $50,000 of work does not mean you can make a profit. In order for you to make money, after you rebuild that engine, you got to go and put in that work and make your money back by working. You do not do it by reselling your truck. That's just not how it works. And if you buy one of them uh, trucks like that, you're just dumb. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. If you have the money, it's okay. But you're just dumb buying a truck just because someone is selling an over overpriced truck because they rebuilt the engine. Now. If it's a truck with a rebuilt engine and they're selling it cheap, by all means, go buy it. But just because it's a rebuilt engine, don't overpay for a semi truck just because it has a rebuilt engine. Chances are they also may be lying about it. Half the time, they don't have paperwork proof to show that the engine has been rebuilt. Next on the list is the Freightliner Coronado. Yes, I hate to say this, but anybody who owns a Freightliner Coronado think they own a bar of gold. I'm not kidding. Anytime you hear it mention the word Coronado, especially if they have a Detroit 60 series glider in it, you may as well sell your kidney because you ain't getting that truck. They're overpriced trucks just because the name Coronado and a 60 series glider in it does not mean you got to sell it for 150 to 200 grand. Right now, 2020 models are going for 140 grand easy right now, all because they're a Coronado glider. They already have some of them can have close to a million miles. No, it's a Coronado glider. So that means you have to oversell it. I remember back in the day when I was looking to buy myself a truck, I should have bought a Freightliner Coronado because back then they were about thirty to fifty thousand dollars for Detroit 60 series in them. And that was about four years ago. Now, same trucks will be worth up to a hundred thousand, all because it's a Coronado glider. So don't overpay for a Coronado glider. Make sure you find one on cheap because everyone just wants to sell their truck glider truck they're coronado higher because it's a coronado glider next on the list is show trucks that are work trucks now there's a legitimate market out there for show trucks that actually have everything chicken lights and chrome everything top notch everything clean not a single scratch on the paint and it can actually go for a lot of money what i'm talking about is people that modify their trucks to the point where they have a rebuilt engine painted engine painted turbo dipped in chrome turbo uh chrome stacks chrome this chicken lights that and they think they own a big, big time show truck and think they could push 200 grand for a show truck. Yeah, I added all the stuff on there. It's worth 200 grand. No, buddy, it isn't. The truck is, if it's a work truck and using it for work, not a show, the truck is only worth what the market is asking for it. Again, if you buy one of these trucks and you have the money, by all means, I respect that. But if you're out there looking for a work truck and you, and you, finally find a loan that can approve you of something that's a show truck you're just dumb i'm sorry but if you're buying a show truck for work it's really not gonna work you're gonna hit a deer or you're gonna hit something you're gonna have wear and tear and in about a couple years it's not gonna look like a show truck now i respect that you worked your butt off and you put all that chicken lights and chrome modifications on your truck and maybe even had more power added to your engine by a tune via tune or via exhaust metaphor bigger turbo i respect that but don't expect to sell your truck for 200 grand because that's how that's not how stuff in life works. I'm sorry. Unless yours is a legit show truck and you find somebody that really collects them trucks or really just wants to ride a truck in style, there ain't no way you're going to sell your truck for what you're asking for because you worked your butt off and you bought a, and whatever you worked for, you used that money to make your truck look nice and for you to feel nice and look nice driving down the road. So don't expect a whole lot of customers looking to buy a truck like that and if you're a customer if you want to buy a truck by all means buy that kind of truck that has that's all stacked out but keep in mind that sometimes it ain't worth it because if you're going to put a lot of wear and tear on the truck 
couple of years, not gonna look like a show truck. Next on the list is any square hood, lawn nose hood, Peterbilt. Yes, I am not kidding. Any lawn nose Peterbilt. 389, 388, 379, now the new 589, 378, doesn't matter. If it has a lawn nose, it's hyped up and they want an arm and a leg for it just because it has a long nose. That truck really supposed to be only worth 30 to 40 grand like a Freightliner Classic. No, it's worth 80 grand all because it's a Peterbilt. I'm sorry, but this has to stop. Just because it's a Peterbilt does not mean it's a good truck on the inside. Just because it's a Peterbilt does not mean it has to be expensive. Just because it's a Peterbilt does not mean the engine is good on the inside. Just because it's a Peterbilt does not mean it's worth whatever you think a Peterbilt's worth. It's all nothing but hype. So when you buy a Peterbilt, keep in mind that you're really buying a brand. Unless you know what engine is inside of it and that it has a good engine, you're literally just buying a brand. There's nothing too special about it. I mean, I love Peterbilt. I love driving in them. But I'm just saying, when you're buying a Peterbilt, you're buying a brand. And the final thing on our list that's overhyped and ruined by cloud is also a long nose truck called the Kenworth. Yes, the Kenworth. Any Kenworth with a long nose, Kenworth W900 and W990. I don't know any other long nose Kenworths, just those two. Kenworth didn't make too many of long nose except the 900 and 990. They're all ruined by clout or overhyped. The W990, when it first came out, some people say it's ugly, some people is no. So split 50 50 in the middle. I think it looks nice. But guess what? Everyone already overhyped it because it's such a rare truck. Peterbilt only puts out a few of them in the market every year. And because it's a rare truck or a rare spec truck, they're gonna put a, a huge price tag on it. Same with the W900, doesn't matter what engine is underneath. Just because of the long nose, it looks cool and rides around cool, a huge price tag is gonna be attached to that Kenworth. So keep in mind, just like a Peterbilt, whenever you're buying a Kenworth, you're buying not really a truck, but the brand image, the brand. Kenworth has done it right, same with Peterbilt. So everything is overhyped in that. Not canceled. Guys, I'm Eddie B. 2000. Okay, this particular package. Drive an attempt on the 6 Series. Ooh.